Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through a week in my life as a med student featuring the GI module. Alright, let's get to it. Good morning everyone. It is Monday. It's gonna be a good week. But first things first, we gotta get some breakfast. Alright, we have our breakfast. This is sort of my typical breakfast, my oatmeal here. I have a, uh, you know, add in some protein powder and peanut butter bananas, berries, almonds. I had some uh, granola today. That's new, but that's just for some extra texture. All right, we we're walking to campus here with my roommate, Adesh. Hey. And we're heading toward what's called SAS, which stands for Synthesis and Application Session. So in the middle of a module, we typically have those every Monday morning. Um, so yeah, we'll go there and we'll just do like all different questions and sort of a review from this past week. These are mandatory, so you have to go. <laughs> Alex, how are you feeling for SAS today? I wish I was more prepared. <laughs> Why don't you go okay? <laughs> all right, so it is the afternoon and I'm heading to our college meeting. Uh, we have these once a week and the college is essentially a small group of about 20 students and we're paired with a college mentor and it's designed to be a smaller group uh, to foster camaraderie and also uh, provide a go-to mentor for us. Uh, so first and second year we have this meeting once a week and just a good time to come together, talk about any issues that are going on. I think today we actually have a guest speaker um, that's going to talk to us about his profession. Alright guys, why don't we, um, why don't we get started here? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm oh, Wait, are we gonna make a feature yeah. in your, um... How was college meeting today? So cool. Yeah. It is okay. Your, uh, yeah, we had the, it was a pediatrician, was our guest speaker that specializes in neurofibromatosis. Um, really cool hearing about some of the rare diagnosis he's made. Uh, yeah. Now, now we have our, uh, humanities seminars. Um, so we're on our way to that. Hey everyone, so I just finished up classes for today. Our humanity seminar that we had today, uh, the one I'm in is about human cadaver dissection and the history of that, where the cadaver uh, donations came from, we talk about grave robbing. Today we talked about uh, our thoughts on uh, donating our bodies to science uh, for medical education. Then right after that, I had my PBL, problem-based learning, and how that works is we're in a small group and we go through a case and sort of identify learning issues from that case. Uh, so today we were learning a lot about the liver, uh, so we did some little teaching presentations about different topics and then went through the case. Um, yeah, so it was a good, good session. So now that I'm done with classes, I'm gonna get a quick workout in here at the gym before heading back home. Hey everyone, just to recap the day. So after I worked out, I came back, talked to my mom on the phone. Uh, turns out one of our cats had gotten into a cat fight and now has some sort of infection. So they're giving him some antibiotics. But after that, I went to the grocery store, got some food for this week, uh, made supper. Tonight made chicken stir fry. Uh, and now, yeah, rest of the night, probably gonna watch a couple lectures. Um, do uh, some of my Anki flashcards and probably will tune in to uh, some of Monday Night Football as well. Uh, yeah, and that's a wrap on Monday. See you guys later. All right, good morning everyone. It is Tuesday. Uh, full disclosure, I did not get that much studying done last night. I did watch one lecture, but that's about it. I think it's maybe going back to standard time. Normally I had a pretty consistent schedule at 11.30 I would wind down and start getting ready for bed. Last night like 10.30 I just hit an absolute wall. Um, I don't know. Uh, but anyways, we are on our way to campus today. Uh, we have anatomy lab this morning, so it should be fun. 
All right, most of our anatomy curriculum is actually pro-section based, but this morning we have a unique opportunity to actually do some optional dissections. So that's what we have today. Uh, we're learning about GI anatomy, so we're going to be going through a guided dissection uh, in the abdomen. Uh, yeah, so this should be pretty cool. All right, so the anatomy lab was pretty good. Essentially what we did was dissect out the superior and inferior mesenteric arteries. Uh, and we also looked at the jejunum and ilium, the vasculature differences, uh, specifically in the vasa recta there. Uh, so yeah, that was pretty cool to, to get sort of a three-dimensional hands-on experience of the anatomy. Okay, this Tuesday afternoon, we have ECMH, which stands for Education Centered Medical Home. And it's a primary care clinic that we get to go to every two weeks. And I've talked before, this is honestly probably one of my favorite parts of our preclinical curriculum because we get to take part in actual patient care. So yeah, this will be a fun afternoon. Here's the rest of our ECMH team today. Yay! Our clinic is about 20 minutes away from campus, so we take a lift to get here, uh, but we've made it here. All right, should be a fun day with lots of patients. Today. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Amazing. Great learning great. experience. Very fun. <laughs> Nathan was quite inspiring. <laughs> great patient know. care. Great patient care. <laughs> okay, we are back home from ECMH. Today was actually an incredible ECMH day. Super inspirational because I actually got to see a patient that I initially saw earlier this year. Uh, she was pretty sick and we actually followed her up, gave her follow-up phone calls um, for a number of months. Uh, and then finally she like came back in the clinic today and she was doing amazing. Like She showed up, gave me a hug, uh, and she has just recovered really well. And that was really inspirational for me to see. Good morning everyone, it is Wednesday. So Adesh is in the Magic and Medicine Humanities Seminar and he had that yesterday and so he was last night was demonstrating to me uh he was performing one of his magic tricks that he just learned so that's pretty cool but yeah this morning wednesday i'm on my way to campus uh one thing i've been trying to do recently is on my morning walks to school uh reflect about three things that i'm grateful for so yeah i'm gonna do that on my walk and then I think the first thing we have today is an ultrasound session focused on the liver and gallbladder. All right, so the ultrasound session was actually really cool. We were trying to see if we could find gallstones in the patient, uh, and we learned about differences between cholelithiasis, which are the gallstones, and cholecystitis, which is gallbladder inflammation, uh, and the differences we can see through ultrasound. Um, yeah, I'm. Just, Ultrasound is such a great technique, non-invasive, lots you can do with it. I think the big challenge is uh, learning the orientation, but I think with time that will come. So yeah, let's hear what my classmate Luke had to say about the session. It was really cool. I like that you can start to like try out things that you've never known how to do before. And mm -hmm. you can get feedback in real time and you can kind of play around with the technology. I think the iPad is an absolute game changer for like the ultrasounds. Mm -hmm. So compared to the traditional um, hardware that people use, the iPad is like, it's much faster, it's much more intuitive. Um, I think it really builds on the fact that like our generation of learners are kind of digital natives. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> All right. Okay, it's now about 11.30. And so what I'm gonna do is probably go to the library, uh, do my prayer and planning for this week. Normally I try to do this at the beginning of the week on Monday, uh, but, this week was pretty busy past couple days, so I'm gonna try to do that now. And essentially what I do during prayer and planning is plan out the week, think about what are my responsibilities, and then pray through all of those to, to get any insight uh, about how to approach the week. I find that's a good way to be more organized with all my activities and more intentional with my life. And I'll have lunch, study a little bit, prepare my learning issue for PPL this afternoon. Uh, yeah, that'll be this afternoon. Okay. 
Time for PBL. Hello everyone, we are back. Uh, now I'm just gonna recap you what happened since I last saw you. So our PBL session today went pretty well. I made these little puppets that I included in my learning presentation, so that was fun. And after that, um, studied a little bit on campus, caught up with a friend, and then I worked out at the gym there on campus, and then came back here. So rest the night, the night, I'm gonna eat supper, and then probably try to watch a few more lectures, study a little bit more. Um, realize you're probably wondering when does this guy go to lecture because you haven't seen me so far this week. Uh, and basically, most of our lectures here are either optional or pre-recorded, and so I generally watch those uh, on my own time because that way I can watch them at two, two to three x speed, pause it, take notes in the middle. Uh, but that being said, I'm generally always at least half a week behind on the content, so it's kind of a perpetual catch-up game for me. So that's something I'm trying to get better at. Uh, but yeah, that's what we'll do tonight. And then, yeah, I will see you in the morning. Hey everyone, it's Thursday. So today I actually didn't wake up and get out of bed until closer to 11, 30, 12. This might happen about once a week, probably more often during exam weeks when I don't have to be on campus or something required in the morning. Um, but yeah, today is kind of a dreary, cloudy day outside and I don't need to be on campus until later. So this afternoon, probably is gonna stay home and get some work done here. Okay, I came over onto campus because just a little bit ago, the infectious disease interest group was hosting a microbiology Jeopardy event. They had free donuts and it was a lot of fun. And surprisingly, I was able to contribute uh, to our group. The first year students are right in the middle of learning about all this micro, but for, for second year, it has been a little bit. Now this evening, we have CMDA, which stands for Christian Medical and Dental Association. CMDA is one of the student orgs on campus, and it's really been a great community for me. We study the word together, we reflect about how it applies specifically to our lives as medical students, and overall just have a fun time together. So I stopped back home because I need to change, and then I'm actually going to go play basketball with some of my classmates. I think I saw you in one of the highlight videos. <laughs> this man is very good at basketball. <laughs> Not as good as this guy right here. This guy's a six foot beast. Just business all the time with my guy Nate. You know what it is. What are you talking to my guy Happy Friday, everyone. May it's the end of the week. So I'm actually heading to campus because this morning I have my OSCE, which stands for Objective Structured Clinical Examination. Last week we had part one where they were testing our skills in the musculoskeletal and neurological exam. But today they are going to be testing us about our oral presentation skills. All right, I finished my OSCE. Now, the rest of the day, probably just gonna hang out on campus and get some work done there. Okay, so we have a special surprise. My cousin Nathan happened to be in town today, and so we met up. Yeah, how's it going? <laughs> Happy to be here. <laughs> yeah, it worked out for us to meet up. So now we're gonna have lunch here. We have this uh, Cuban, Cuban cuisine. The black bean soup. Yes. <laughs> Hey everyone, so here's the update on the rest that happened today. So after I had lunch with Nathan, then I went back to campus, the library, got some work done there. And then after that, I went to the gym and got in a workout, and then came back home, ate supper, and then I hung out with some of my friends in the evening. All right, everyone, that is a wrap on a week in the life of a med student featuring the GI module. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, share, subscribe, take care, and I will see you in the next one.